Hello guys, welcome in my YouTube channel. Today we're going to see this code that I wrote uh, uh, last day for my business company. Uh, as you can see, there are <laughs> a few lines of a few lines of, of code, and so let's go. Uh, first of all, here there are some. Uh, recommendation um, of course subscribe to me to my youtube channel and also my email address if you have some question or if you want contact me because uh, this code is uh, built only for my business company and uh, um, I try to make it uh, uh, available for all of company but uh, uh, if you want some more specific uh, you can con contact me and I will uh, made uh, personal uh, I will made a, a code for you and of course <laughs> uh, it's not free this uh, <laughs> okay uh, but the, the code here is totally free so um, as you can see here, um, this code uh, take a CSV file. Um, this uh, CSV file um, are main case four file. Here is the fourth one, for example. Um, there are four columns. Uh, each one. Uh, is composed by a value, uh, a value of time. In my business company, there are uh, uh, four employees, so uh, each one uh, entry at uh, seven, uh, uh, eight o'clock, the in this range of time. Then there is the half, so the lunch time. There is a break, break. Then uh, come back for uh, continue and then exit. So uh, go back home. And here there is the last column free that is uh, the free day. And all of these files are in the same, I have, have the same pattern as you can see. As you can see, there are four, uh, 31 columns and um, rows. Sorry, uh, each one for one day. So one, two, three, four, and so on. Um, so let's see the code. So guys, let's have a look to our application. Uh, just log file. Here we are. We have a loading screen first of all, so we can load all the component and then. Uh, the window will pop up here we are okay and as you can see there is a title window a little menu um combo box so here we can select our employee and later uh, we will see how and here we have three label frame uh, each one show different things here we can see uh, our csv file and here we can see our bar plot and here um, the re most the recent scan as you can see here so basically um, as I said before here we can select our employee just for example I type James um, 2, 3 of course James uh, is a uh, I don't have a, a file named James underscore September dot CSV so uh, my my application gives me an error and this is because it works and if I select free I take the free dot free uh, underscore September dot CSV and load this file into a data frame and print the result on the on the screen so uh, let's see the two graph 
here we are um let's to add let's edit this column to free so we can type our password and we can show then we can write here our date so we can modify 12 September 2021 and column is free so free comma um, one then we type ok so the program um, verify that the string is formatted ok there is no error and then done as you can see here I have five and not four so we added a new free day to our employee um, if you go here 12 we have one and before we add zero um let's see for example another one so the same password oh. and we can type uh, uh, 10 so 10 september 2021 as you can see if i type another date like this and entry comma seven dot fifty fifty six the program says me wrong date format so of course I have to take this twenty one then type OK okay there is no error and then done as you can see ten seven dot fifty six from here we can open uh, a past file so a past.csv file that we want compare to this one and we can see uh, the difference entry half and so on and from here we can set the style so this one this or this one um, I prefer this so clear looks works fine then here you can copy my email and mail me and here there is some stuff <laughs> you need to know uh, also you can save uh, PNG of this graph and also you can move here or set it as before and you can exit like this or just press the cross here as you can see guys this program is very uh, works very fine and the only things is uh, the scan so as you can see in my github I uh, in, I put the link in the description um, you uh, if you are interested into my program I can set for you um, different way to acquire the data so this data that you see here I, I take this data uh, from a webcam I scan a QR code and then at the time that I scan the QR code this will um, print in the file the time but if you not if you haven't a webcam I can use a card reader or whatever you want a scanner um, so um, just let me know what I have to do and unfortunately for you uh, this is not free and because it's, it's more complicated than this this is just a, a little GUI that works fine and if you need some help uh, with yours you can take this and modify something but for other purpose if you want to make this really really comfortable to you to your plan uh, please contact me on this address and uh, all the info in the description so uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video